Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding role playing dimension in Power BI. So we all do modeling in Power BI. So why we do modeling in Power BI is to relay the tables to get a meaningful visual. So for getting meaningful visuals, we need to have a structured modeling approach in Power BI. So we use star schema as a mature modeling approach in Power BI. So in star schema, there will be dimension tables and there will be fact tables. So if you, if you have a fact table with respect to the fact table, we will be creating lots of dimension tables also. So in one way of creating dimension tables is by creating a role playing dimension table where the same dimension can be used multiple times in the fact table with different meanings each time. So one example of that is date, field and calendar table. So in the fact table, we will be having sometimes more than one date. So when these kind of multiple dates occur in fact table, instead of creating two, three dimension table for the dates, what we will use is we can create a calendar table and then we can relate this calendar table to the fact table and we can connect it with the respective dates. So obviously there will be more than one relation. And this way of modeling the two tables with the dimension and fact table, we call it as role playing dimension because one dimension is playing different roles. In this example, it is playing as the role of a order date as well as a ship date. So here you can see ship date as well as order date. So the definition, it is like a role playing dimension is a dimension that can filter related facts differently. So same, it is same dimension that is used multiple times in fact tables with different meaning each time. So here in this example, we are going to see the date dimension table that is reference to order date and the ship date in fact table. So obviously in Power BI, there is a small problem because there will be only one active relationship when you do role playing dimension. So how to overcome that? We, are, we will, obviously we will know, we will be using a DAX function called user relationship function to get the other inactive dates also, inactive relationship also to work. So we will have an example. In this example, we are having only the fact table order dates. We are having the fact table orders and in that fact table, we are having two dates, that is ship date and order date. So how we are going to create a dimension for these dates. So we will create a role playing dimension for this. For that, we will create a, a table so you can go to modeling and you can create new table. And of course, since we have created the new table and you can give it as calendar, calendar equals. So instead of finding the start date and the end date of both the tables. So because order date will be having different start date and ship date will be having different start so you can't take one date column and you create a table with that date column because the other date column will be having different start date so instead of that so power bi has given us a dax function called calendar auto so we give calendar auto it will take the starting date from whatever how much of a columns it may be it will take the starting date from the that one the least starting date and the highest ending date or the highest last date, maximum last date and the minimum starting date will and it will create a calendar automatically. So we can use this itself. So if you go to the modeling, of course you are having the calendar table and with that date column that will be having the max and the min date. So in this date itself, we can relate to order date. So the first relation, what we are going to give, what we give is, will be the active relation and the next one will be inactive relation. But with respect to that, we can do the aggregation with respect to these states by using the DAX function called user relationship. So we can select the date here. This is actually a metrics table and we are going to select the date inside this metric table and we will take the, at present we will be taking the year only. We will take the year and then we will calculate the date with respect to the order. Sales with respect to the order date because we are having a column called sales with respect to the order date. Obviously we don't need to do anything because order date is the active relationship so we can just find the sales or else we can just drag on the sales and that will show the correct sales with respect to order date. so now we will create sales with respect to the shipment date so sales with respect to shipment date equals to we can use the calculate function calculate sum of sales and you can use that user relationship user relationship and we can just go and get the sales date ship date calendar date and ship date so we will select that also here so here we can see both 
are different because order date is different and the shipment date is different. So we have calculated the sales with respect to the order date and the shipment date. But here the filter what we are using is the same calendar date tip. That's why this date is actually acting in a double draw. It is acting in two ways, multiple ways. It is acting with respect to sales date and it is acting with respect to shipment date. So this process or this modeling is termed as role playing dimension. So here date, calendar date acts as a role playing dimension in this model. I hope this will give an idea of data warehousing and Power BI. Have a nice day.